everybody. Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Today I've got a review for you. This is on this little number here, the Bandai Star Wars TIE Advance X1 Darth Vader's flagship. Uh, <laughs> this was a fun kit. I had a great time with this. My wife picked it up for me for Christmas along with an X-Wing. I got the X-Wing put together pretty quickly. This one took me a little longer to get to because I had a couple other projects going, but I am really glad that I grabbed this one and put it together. These Bandai kits are really incredible. The fit on them is phenomenal. This one is, like I said, Darth Vader's uh, flagship. And man, I got to tell you, the fit on this was just beautiful. Now, I don't know, maybe you guys can help me with this. Do things get grimy in space? Because I decided I was going to grime this one up a bit and I uh, did a lot of different black washes and uh, the base is supposed to be part of the Death Star and I, I grimed that one up a little bit as well. I don't know if it was supposed to be that way, but I got to tell you, I think it looks pretty cool. They give you two options on the, uh, the canopy, I guess. For, <laughs> I'm never sure what to call these things, but the canopy on this, they gave you either a transparent part with a decal or you could put this on, which is a solid plastic piece, but with no glass. I originally had wanted to put the glass in these kits, but I found out that when they built the original models that they used to shoot the movie, uh, that they didn't put glass in them because so they wouldn't get reflections. And I have to tell you, I like this better than the look of a decal on the glass, which I didn't think was too great. Uh, as far as this goes, I you couldn't ask for a better kit. The pit... The fit on this thing is impeccable. When I put this little fuselage here together, the seam disappeared. I have never seen a seam disappear like that before. I didn't have to touch this with putty. I didn't have to touch this with glue. This thing went together like a charm. Basically, all I did was I sprayed the uh, many of the parts using a gray, uh, a flat gray Tamiya paint. And then I just did black washes over it. Now, they recommend that you don't paint the, uh, the connection points in, inside these, I don't know what they are even, solar panels or whatever. They look like solar panels. I know they're not. There's another name for them. I, I don't remember it. But uh, So what I did was I did hand paint the little frames around these because the folks at Bandai figured out a way to cast the black and the gray part together. So it's actually two different colors plastic that are that are molded together. It's beautiful. I don't know how they do it, but it's really cool. Um, about the only thing that I'll say about this one is they gave you a ton of microscopic decals, especially for inside this cockpit, which you can't really see in. And I put a couple of them on, and frankly, they started peeling off, and, and I was having a really hard time getting them to set. And rather than trying to run Salvaset on them, I looked at the panels inside and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to paint it. And so that's what I did. I painted the individual panels inside. Again, you can't see them, but I know it's done. Uh, they also have some areas where they give you a decal to cover an area uh, like this little thing here on the top. And I have to be honest, I could have put them on. But what I saw was all the amazingly, I, I'm sure you can't see it with this, but there's a ton of detail in that that would have gotten lost if it was covered up with a decal. So I did that in paint as well. So I didn't use many decals on this. Matter of fact, I don't think I ended up using any. Um, but I just hand painted the parts. It's not that hard. And uh, man, this was fun. This was a fun kit. If you are looking for kind of a slump buster, something that goes together fairly quickly. Uh, these little Bandai Star Wars kits are really nice. And again, you know, I put this together in a day. Uh, it took me a day to get the paint dried and everything else, and then a day to put it together. And man, it just, and when I say a day, I'm talking the amount of free time that I had in a day after doing a whole lot of work. So again, a very simple kit but looks great when it's done. So I really highly recommend these. If you get a chance, grab one and put it together, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. I'm not a fanatic. I don't know all the stuff about everything, but 
I really do enjoy these movies and I'm going to enjoy having this sitting on my shelf. I told my wife I, I was not going to sit there going pew, pew, pew <laughs> between this and my X-Wing. I might still do that. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day. Remember, model building is supposed to be fun, so have fun. Have a good day. <laughs>